everyone, it's Joy again. And now we're going to do the Summer Eleven tag. And this time I do remember who I was tagged by. I was tagged by Carolyn. Miss Flip Flops and Pearls. Yay! Thank you, Carolyn, for tagging me. And I'm sure you all know her channel. Um, but if you don't, go check her out. It's Carolyn, Miss Flip Flops and Pearls. And when I upload this, I'll try to remember in the description box to list that. But she has a great channel. She shows great products. She does uh, Makeup Mondays where she comes on and does a whole face tutorial with whatever item is hot at the moment. And she has great input and great advice on how to do makeup. And she's got a really fun channel. So go check her out. Give her some love. And so the first question is... And I paraphrase all these questions because cause that's what I do. That's how we roll. <laughs> okay, number one. Um, it's about your base, your foundation, your summer base. And the question was kind of like, do you stick with the same stuff that you wear in the winter or do you lighten it up in the summer? And for me, it just kind of depends. Um, like right now, I'm trying to use up some foundations that I've had a while, so... Lighten it up, darken it up, doesn't matter what color they are, I'm going to use them. You can either bronze it up to darken it. Um, right now they kind of match, I think it was a year ago that I got them. So it was summer and they kind of match my skin tone right now. So I use a little bit of bronzer just to give it a little glow, but, but I am using them up. So I'm kind of sticking with the same thing I had last year. So I guess it's the same, but I used it off and on all winter. But I have lighted ones for winter. So yeah, I guess I lighten it up for winter and darken up in the summer. You know, whatever works at the time. Number two, fake it till you make it. Oh, give your top three items for that natural glow. Um, and then it said like IE bronzers and highlighters and stuff. Okay, my top three. Um, let me think. Right now I'm really enjoying my Bobbi Brown bronzer in medium, number two. I like that for bronzing it up. Um, a highlighter, I was really stuck on my Kevin Kwan candlelight for a really long time. And now I am, what am I using now? Oh, then I use the What's Up by Benefit. So those, there's two. And then, what's another bronzer that I've been using? Oh, my Laura Mercier. It's like a little sample square that I got in one of her kits. Oh, the, and the NYC bronzer. Sunny, I've really been liking that one. I've been traveling with that one. That one's cheap. So, pff, go get yourself some Sunny. And let's see. Hot, humid weather is horrendous for lashes. Oh, that was saying, like, in the hot humidity... Do you switch up your mascara because your lashes tend to melt off your face? I don't have that problem. So I use whatever mascara I'm using. I don't switch it for the summer. Um, if I do have that problem, I don't notice it. So I'm obviously oblivious to it. I know some people say that it like drips all down their face. What I don't like is when it flakes. Or um, where when like a mascara you put on and then throughout the day it like disappears on you. I don't. So when I run into those mascaras, I just put them in my empties right away. I just because I have so many samples of mascara and stuff that I just I won't even bother with them. What am I using right now? Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. I like that one. Um, I have a sample of that that I'm using. And I like They're Real by Benefit. That one I really, 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 really like. Um, the Sumptuous by Estee Lauder. I like that one a lot. The Kevin Aquan. I'm finishing that one up. Not nuts about that. Wouldn't care to repurchase that one. It's the Essential Mascara. I don't know if any of you saw my video on that where I poke myself in the eye over and over. If you haven't, go check that one out. You'll have a good giggle. Not my favorite mascara. Um, what else am I using right now? Oh, I just bought that mango one. That's the drugstore one that everybody is saying that is really good. So I'll have to give that one a try. That's next on my list to try. Oh, and the Better Than Sex Mascara. I really like that one a lot too. So those are the ones that I like a lot. Next question. 
Life is short. Vacations are shorter. Where was I? Oh, I was just, I was caught up in the moment of short life and short vacations. <laughs> um, which liners and shadows do you use for a foolproof look? Okay, that was a major paraphrase. I think I recall that that had something to do with who has time to mess with their makeup long term. So you want something that's going to last because life is short and vacations are short, so you don't want to be spending all your time on your face. I think that's what that meant. Okay, so let me think. Um, what do I use? I use a lid primer, which would be either a paint pot, a... Maybelline Tattoo. Um, I just finished up my Smashbox lid primer. Uh, I'll use any, like a, even a regular face primer, I'll put it over my lid and that works well. But mostly a paint pot or a lid primer um, for, to keep this, the, 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 to keep the eyeshadow on my lids. You know what's funny because I never had a problem, I didn't think, I didn't know, with shadows not lasting all day. But, you know, once you watch YouTube videos, you find out all the things that you need to have that you didn't have, so you get them. And so you never really knew if you needed them in the first place, because you were told you needed them, and they were awesome, so you got them anyway. Well, I, I'm speaking for myself, of course. So, I, of course, I had to go out and get everything that everybody said was awesome, because gotta try it all. It's like, oh, if it's good, I wanna try that. <laughs> okay, so liners. Um, lately, I've been really enjoying the Urban Decay liners, and I show, I will show them when I can finally upload my, there's two, there's a Makeup Forever white liner and a, and a Urban Decay blue liner, Deviant is the blue one, that I like to put back here, and then the white one I like to put in here because I've been really suffering with a head cold and allergies this past few days in, um, in while I've been making videos, so my eyes feel like they're dark and closed in. And that I don't have it on today, though, but um, it seems to lighten them up a bit. Anyway, those are the ones I've been using. Oh, and I like my gel liners. Those stay on all day where I don't have to mess with them. But today I have on a, the Cargo, and it's just a shadow liner. And it'll probably stay on all day. Okay, um... Oh, it's such hard work sipping cocktails on a lounger. What do you do to keep your pout pretty? Well, what I do is I sip and I reapply and I sip and I reapply and I sip and I reapply. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm kind of kidding. Two sips, one reapply. Well, maybe three sips and one reapply. Maybe I just guzzle the cocktail. And then I don't have to reapply. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I worry about it. But I do always reapply. So it's not that I worry about it. It's that my lips are dry. And dry. My lips are dry. And when they feel dry, I reapply. That rhymes. When my lips are dry, I reapply. That's what I do. Summer beauty collections are fun. Which brand hit it out of the park and why? Well, isn't it always MAC? I mean, it hit it out of the park because it had that aquatic alluring with the water droplets all over it. The product wasn't that great, but the packaging was amazing and it sold out in seconds. So that's my answer to that one. And that's the end of the tag. So yay, I'm getting caught up. That's three videos that I did today. So now I just have to find somewhere to upload them. So until then, be well, my friends. Take care, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.